As you guys probably know, I am really fond of jigsaw puzzles. I like solving jigsaw puzzles where you put the pieces inside, like 1000 pieces, 4000 pieces, 18,000 pieces inside like a picture. I find it really meditative and fun. So whenever I see a mechanical puzzle that is based on a jigsaw puzzle coming out, I have to get it. And Tyler Williams got one of these lately, it's called Jig Tricks. It's a very interesting and new looking jigsaw puzzle looking mechanical puzzle that I really wanted to solve so I reached out and he sent me a copy. It's a very cool, very interestingly made puzzle and you'll see that the solution goes a little bit differently than other jigsaw puzzles that you probably saw. Before we get into the solution, please like and subscribe so this video reaches more people and let's start solving Jig Tricks. The goal of the puzzle is to put all the pieces inside the tray. The tray looks amazing amazingly beautiful by the smell of it it is laser cut wood and we have weird pieces as you guys know I love puzzles with weird jigsaw pieces as they are always very creative and interesting look at that look at this so cool so let's take everything out and see how the pieces look and try to assess maybe what tricks might be used in this. We have peculiar pieces. Some of them are similar to the others. For example, these two or these. Let's start by putting them into groups. So first question to ask is what can fit here? Is this the only piece that could fit there? This is an important question to ask because if so, it really helps us solve the puzzle much easier. Because if we know that the only piece goes here is this one, we can already put them all there. Although there might be also tricks here, tricks that we may not expect, like this for example. This is a viable option, although it doesn't seem like it's a very probable. What about this? Can this maybe fit like this? Hmm. Okay, it looks like this is not enough. Trying to maybe combine these two pieces may look pretty abnormal, but that's the whole point. We need to go out of our comfort zone and do the most counterintuitive things. This also looks a bit weird. I have no idea where this may be. But what can this connect with? I think this is the only piece that can connect with it. And this is how it will go because this is impossible. It just doesn't fit. So this is the first thing I have, which is good. Then we have pieces like this one that cannot fit with most pieces here. It can fit with this though, or with this. These could all fit together. This is also possible to go here, only here, right? So let's count the tails and all the pieces that can go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 11, 12, 13 pieces like this that can fit there. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So there must be something unusual going on or some of the pieces will just go to like completely random places that we won't even expect. Also, we have only four of these small jigsaws, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we have eight places to put them in. And that's exactly how much we need actually. So this can fit here. Then this could possibly fit like this, but then we have wasted space. So this may go on like this and also, ooh, this looks like it should be correct. I like it. Let's see if I can fit this here and this here. Hmm. No, that's not possible. And maybe this here and get away with it. <laughs> Very intriguing for sure. We also know that nothing can go into these holes. It's impossible, my most educated guess. So this is one. How about this goes here? Maybe. Yeah, let's go with it like so. Then we can take this part, put it right here. This part, put it right here. And we have this that could probably be in the middle. Something doesn't smell right here. I'm not completely sure about doing this. 
it just seems a bit fishy. Then this will probably fit, I don't know. Hmm, this can work, actually. This goes pretty well here. I think now it's only up to trial and error. Ooh, that's nice, that's nice. This should be here for sure. Hmm, seems like there will be some unused spaces in the end. I am pretty sure about this. Yeah, will there? I think there will be. Yeah, I think there will be some unused spaces. Some pretty evil tricks going on here because guys, we have just solved this puzzle. Let's go, it took us seven minutes. Look at the final position of all the pieces. There's a pretty large space that's left unoccupied. The logical progression was pretty straightforward, I'd say, but it's not an easy puzzle. I think this requires more logical thinking than maybe you Asaka puzzle that require more creative thinking. So this was Jig Tricks by Tyler Williams. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, I'd really appreciate your likes, your comments, and your subscribes to this channel. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.